She is so drunk. Today we will show you the best beaches in Mallorca and the reasons why I rank them so. I lived in Mallorca for a few years and with confidence I can call myself a Mallorca expert when it comes to beaches. I'm making this vlog with mixed feelings because I would not like to give all the Mallorcan secrets away. However, since we have such an elite group of subscribers, I think I will spill the beans. Watch this vlog till the end to find out which is our favorite as we count down our top 5 best beaches in Mallorca. Number 5. Cala San Marador. The best beach to go with kids. Looks like Mallorca. Most beaches you need to park like 10 miles away before you get onto the beach. Hey? hey? What do you think? What? You always have to park like 8 minute walk away. This is only 8 minutes walk away. Only. What beach is this? What beach are we going to? Samador, Samador, Sama. Samador, Samador, Samador. She's sun drunk. <laughs> There's a lot of families here with kids and they're all jumping around in the water and they're mixing the sand and the uh, algae. algae so the water is a bit murky but if you've got goggles and fins and it stuff feels huh? it, feels disgusting. it did feel disgusting but if you've got goggles you can oh, swim the kids being to the water. some if of you them without diapers <laughs> Anyway, if you've got goggles, you can swim further out and it's uh, cleaner out there. It's not very deep, it's about maybe six meters, seven meters deep. So, see. <laughs> Number four, Cala del Moro and Cala Samonia. The best beach for a nice swim. We were lucky and we easily found a parking spot, but look at this, it's unbelievable. You could think there is a supermarket somewhere, but it's just a parking for people who want to go to this tiny little beach. There are two small calas very close to each other and there is a lovely short hike in between them. We could be as one and we'll escape. We could run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. Take away the pain, we can go and say, I can feel it, it burns inside. <laughs> what is the experience? So, we are in Talasamonia, and it's a tiny fisherman village. Uh, there is not much space, there is uh, quite a few people here, and the water is nice, it's slightly chilly, but it's, it's great because. It's very hot outside of the water, so I suggest you that you should jump to the water too. It's so nice. We could run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. Take away the pain, we can go and say, I can feel it, it burns inside. We could run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. Take away the pain. I think we're gonna evacuate ourselves to another beach. There is a very nice hike and we'll see if the hike is still open and maybe it's private now, who knows? I haven't been here in like 10 years. Uh, it just feels like there's more people. We are in Calo de Moros. Uh, as you can see, the water is just crystal clear it's very blue and uh, for me this place it looks like Thailand or some place in Asia but you don't need to go far to experience and explore such a such a unique places and we're here in Mallorca in Europe it's just a couple of hours of flight from wherever you are in Europe and 
Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> the cliffs that are surrounding this beach is just creating this feel that we are somewhere completely different in some super exotic place in Asia. The beach is very small, so you can't really find a spot to even lay down. But you can just come for a couple of hours, enjoy the swim, enjoy the nature and the views. So they don't tell you about walks like this. This is like a proper hike. Try not to do it in flip-flops. Get some proper shoes. But it was worth it. The beach was actually pretty good. So I have a question for you. Like I knew that this beach is a long walk and there is no space to sit. However, I want to go there anyway to show it to you. What is your take on it? If you didn't know about the hike and how the beach looked like. Well, to be honest, it was worth the hike. It took us 15 minutes down that way and then some off-roading <laughs> but it was it was worth the hike the water was pristinely beautiful it was there was no place to sit i wanted to jump off a rock <laughs> but decided not to but would you recommend this beach to someone no nope, don't go there <laughs> definitely if you have kids don't go there <laughs> because it's, it's way too tiring if yeah. you're young and fit, do it. If you feel like staying in the water all day, then yes. Yes, yes you can only stay in the water. <laughs> Number three, Kala Twent, the best beach if you want to escape the crowds. We are now close to our next destination, which is Kala Twent, right down at the bottom of this valley. It has taken us almost an hour and a half to get here, down windy roads. Um, and this is why there's not that many cars in this area. But it's been fun to drive. Definitely most fun to drive. I highly recommend it. On a good car, that can go up mountains. Full tank of petrol as well. If not, you would make it. There's no petrol station in the area. We've reached our next destination, Cala Twen, which is an hour and a half from Palma de Mallorca, uh, around very windy roads. Uh, it's taken us quite a quite an adventure driving down to get here. And obviously this is why there's nobody here. Okay, so from here we go to our next destination, which is apparently a real gem called Saka Labra. <laughs> See? And we need to run before they're gonna give us a fine. Yeah, so the, the parking here is a bit tricky. You may have to park from up and walk down, but it's not as far as we used to, we're used to. So have fun. <laughs> Number two. Sacalobra, the best beach for sightseeing and for a hike in the canyon. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. We go to Sacalobra, one of the most remote beaches in Mallorca. It's uh, very hard to get here. It takes an hour and a half uh, from Palma, and the road is like super windy in the mountain but still it attracts a lot of tourists but look at this location it also because of its beauty and very unique landscape it was a film set for uh, Star Wars in one of the episodes when they were like flying between mountains so it was here now you make me feel so alive can't stop thinking about your day and night love it when you kiss me love it when we touch every time Number one, Calabarques, the best beach for snorkeling and rock climbing. 
this beach is so much fun, but be ready to walk 40 minutes to get there. Hi there! Right now, uh, sorry that we are filming from mobile, but we left our camera in the car because right now we're doing like half an hour hike through uh, a countryside to get to my favorite beach and it's very interesting because you used to park cars pretty close to the beach and now we can't so there is a parking pretty far away and uh, but yeah we need to walk half an hour but so the footage from this beach is gonna be from the phone sorry about that and I uh, hope you're gonna enjoy it. But now you know, you need to walk half an hour to get there. Why is it my favorite beach? Because usually there are cows and bulls on the beach. Uh, not today, because it looks like they are probably locked up somewhere because there are so many people. But normally if you would come here, there are, and you would put a towel or some cow might join you. I have one cow over there. It has fantastic hidden caves where you can swim inside and you need to trust my word because we left a GoPro in the car. You can also train your skills in rock climbing and if you lose your grip you will fall straight into the sea. Let us know in the comments if you have any other favorite beaches in Mallorca. And remember, what is a holiday destination for you, it's a home for someone else. So please respect the nature and respect the locals. Stay tuned for our next video where we will show you little towns and landmarks that are perfect to visit when the weather is not so great or maybe you simply traveling off season. Thank you for watching, please subscribe put the thumbs up and leave us a comment.